world, people in different regions have a traditional beverage. And that's why we're bringing back an old favorite continental cocktails. Regardless of whether you're drinking bourbon from Kentucky, tequila from Mexico, or in today's case, Aquavit, a traditional Scandinavian spirit. Unlike other regional spirits, Aquavit has a unique flavor. It is made with caraway, dill, anise, and other herbs and spices. Each country in Scandinavia has its own version of the recipe. No one knows Norway's version of Aquavit better than Svein Schuvold, a Norwegian expat. Today he's here to show us how we can enjoy his homeland's favorite cocktail and a few of the customs associated with the drink. Welcome. Thank you. We're very excited much. to learn about this. We love to try new Yes, new we do. And particularly with local flavor. And this is really all about like what you can find, like this like Norwegian custom. Yep. Um, and uh, to cover some of the regional customs in other countries, you have the ouzo of the Greek, which uh, I know you're a favorite of Anis. Yeah. You? <laughs> um, and yeah, a little worried about it. Yeah. The, uh, the Jägermeister of the Germans. And even you could call gin a regional British variant. And uh, uh, I would say Akivit is the Scandinavian countries, uh, Norway, Sweden, uh, Denmark, and I will lump Iceland into the same category, uh, we have the aquavit, okay. which translates in Latin to water of life, which is reason enough to drink it. <laughs> yes, of course, and we take this very literally here, yes. water of life. Okay. And uh, as you covered, the, uh, the base for the aquavit, at least in Norway and Sweden, is the caraway spice, uh, lots of it. Okay. That's that rye bread smell, smell that you get. Spice? Sure. I'm not sure I, I also know, have been like, sitting here wondering. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that Very flavor. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. The Danes tend to also want to use dill in theirs. I haven't brought any Danish aquavit here today. Okay. Because um, I'm Norwegian, so I... <laughs> you have to keep no, it Norwegian. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And um, um, the spirit was, was uh, developed during the 1500s. Um, and the recipes that you can buy in the stores today um, uh, range from about 1850 to 1950. That's when they solidified it. Okay. Can you actually go to a local liquor store and that buy this? That was my maybe? question to Ashley today. So this one is actually bought, I think, here in town. Okay. Does it compare to when you make it your own? Um, it's a little different. It's been aged uh, Norwegian aquavits. First of all, by law, you have to make it from potato-based vodka. Okay. That's the law in Norway. And then you must also have caraway, but you can have a lot of different things. This one is uh, fun because, uh, first of all, it's made in my hometown of Trondheim, Norway. Okay. Um, and the, it, there's a mythical story around it. You, uh, you put these bottles on ships, and it's called linea, which means line. And the line we're referring to is the equator. Oh, wow. So it's put on a ship, sailed around the world, crosses the equator line twice, and then magically something chemical changes when it does that, so it comes back. Oh, that's, that's the myth or the story. Okay, so we can't really make it officially <laughs> here if we're not going to take it and put it on a ship and cross the equator twice. Uh, not this one. Not no. that one, okay. <laughs> Norway might see you. Yours might taste a little taste different. A little different. So you're going to show us how to put it together, too? Um, I will, but first I'll um, um, cover some of the, the customs. That, oh, okay, that, the customs. Uh, that we use it for. Um, it is used for formal occasions. It's not something you, you uh, shoot. So here I brought the official glasses that we will use for this tasting. And um, um, it is used for formal occasions like a wedding. Um, a confirmation is a big deal in Norway. So you wouldn't just get out a glass because you won a bridge tournament? It's not like a wine after a long day type of... No. Okay. Unless uh, you had a really, really long day. Maybe. <laughs> really long day. Uh, it's for festive occasions, Christmas. Uh, also, they make special versions of Akivit uh, during Christmas and also when, you know, we have royalty in Norway and the Scandinavian countries, except for Iceland, and when there's a royal wedding or there's a crowning, we make a special, like a palace aquavit. This is the fanciest drink. Yes, it's yeah. very, it's, I love the custom behind it though. Mm -hmm. it, makes, it makes it really special in the history. Absolutely. And so I've brought some of my favorites. Uh, this one is the classic, but, but if you guys want to, we can do a little tasting of my, my favorite. This is an 
Upland is a part of Norway. Uh, edel means noble. And it's been aged, it has to be aged in Badera casks. Okay. Okay. So There's a already. lot of meaning behind these. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So and This one we'll, has not crossed the equator. This has not. I'm just going to pour So it's not going to have the magic. It's, I think it will still have a lot of magic. <laughs> the magic here comes from the Madeira cask. You will, will have some of the... What is a Madeira cask? Um, Madeira is a wine, a very sweet wine. And the cask is, is the container that the Madeira wine has been sitting in. So they use these to, to then flavor the, the, the uh, drink a little bit. Are you smelling the black licorice is there scent? A special, yeah, is there a special thing you say? A or toast, a, a or, toast anything? or anything? Well, you can use the Scandinavian score, but here's, here's the deal. You have to maintain eye contact oh, yeah. with okay. whomever you drink. <laughs> uh -oh. And you sip. Yeah, okay. and then... Well, I don't want bad luck. I'm going to have to wait until you're done, Ashley. <laughs> That's much more sip. pleasant than I thought. Ready? What happens if we don't maintain eye contact? Um, you know, those uh, internet memes of you not getting all the money that, you know, you should, etc. <laughs> okay. no. This has a lot less um, flavor, a lot, a lot less of the strong, like, anise flavor than I was expecting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have just I about a minute. I think I can taste the dill in this one, though. We have just about a minute left, so would you like to kind of show us what you have here going? Sure. So, um, you can make this yourself. Yeah. So, what I did is I put some... Um, um, basically a tablespoon of caraway, um, uh, some uh, cloves, because you can use a lot of different spices, anise, but I stayed away from that. My favorite is all spice, but cloves gives it a, a wonderful uh, aroma too. And a little piece of um, mandarin orange peel, because there's very often a, a citrus part to the flavoring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna try that. We're should gonna... I, we should finish this one? Then? Sure. Sip. Wait. Do not I don't want wrong. the bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you have to look somebody in the eye, though, because mm -hmm. I find that there's that's a tradition in, in, in many cultures, and it yeah, carries yeah. through now in a way that when I just say cheers to somebody, I look at them in the yes, eye, and it yes. just feels more also more polite and more meaningful. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. a little bit more mm -hmm. fun. And so you strain it? Yep. You can also use a coffee filter. I brought a coffee filter, but that would have been taking too long. I think it's... And can I pour a little bit you in? You can. So we'll see. We'll see. So this is <laughs> yours. Yeah, this is a little bit like a mad scientist. I, you know? well, <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. It definitely has a different like aromatic. Yeah, more of a spicy smell. It feels a little bit, yeah, um, maybe richer in spice. Sure. Okay, wait. Yes. <laughs> okay. I like Spain's better. It is a very savory taste. It, the spices feel like they come out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's it's got a holiday spirit. A holiday. Too. That's exactly right what I'm it. thinking. We it's need a that holiday right punch. now, actually. Yes, mm -hmm. and especially starting off the new year too. Yeah. This is really good. I'm, you know, color me a little surprised. <laughs> I was prepared to not really. I've had a few of these spirits from around the world, and not always liked them. The as black much, licorice is, was worrying. This is really good. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. being here. This is wonderful. Yeah.